you gotta be quick and you gotta be fast. With the use of a single system, hyperconvergence is becoming all the rage. Today, we're looking at 10 of the most impressive companies using hyperconvergence. Number 10, we have Stratascale. Still being relatively new to the HCI market, with the business launching in 2013, they have established a strong platform from the outset, using open source tech like ZFS for virtualized storage and VKM for visualization. Stratascale offers a high quality HCI solution with no vendor lock-in. The Hyperconvergence Symphony product also comes with Hypervisor included. Now at number 9 we have Pivot3. Before Hyperconvergence was a cool buzzword, there was Pivot3. The company launched its first hyperconverged appliance for video surveillance apps in 2008, making it a trendsetter. Its most recent venture is the Aquity HCI platform. This service combines QoS controls and NVM flash tech to support a range of solutions. This makes their platform very unique to help convince the naysayers of the abilities of HCI in a multi-app environment. Now at number 8 we've got Dell EMC. You know that company Dell, right? I'm sure you must have come across them at least once. Well, when Dell acquired EMC to make Dell EMC, they created its hyperconverged infrastructure solution. Their claim is to be the fastest and most straightforward way for a company to transform its organization's infrastructure. Whether it's improving your path to the cloud with a new turnkey solution, or a brand spanking new data center, Dow wants to be the one to help. At number 7, we have NetApp. Now NetApp was a little late to the party compared to the others on this list, but I think the old adage slow and steady wins the race might be true in this case. Now with a highly coveted hyperconvergence infrastructure product called the NetApp HCI, they incorporate flash technology, which allows businesses to access an advanced hybrid multi-cloud experience. If you're looking for a frictionless way to transform your company's architecture, NetApp could have the answer. Now at number 6 we have Huawei. This is the multinational telecommunication giant with one of the hardest pronounceable business names, Huawei. They offer a powerful solution for HCI tech. The Huawei Fusion Cube Intel server now comes with hyperconverged infrastructure baked into its core. Covering a vast number of options, they provide database support for the SAP, HANA, SQL Server, Oracle and more. Even reaching out to virtualization support, Huawei supports everything from Fusion Spear to VMware. At number 5 we've got VMware. Speaking of VMware, they are a brand synonymous with virtualization. They are one of the best known vendors in the HCI market. VMware expanded its HCI to ensure that the storage, computer and network virtualization technologies available could also deliver a package HCI offering. You can deploy vSAN along with a Cisco, Lenovo, HPE, Supermicro or Dow solution. At number 4 we have Nutanix. In 2018 we saw Nutanix be named a leader in the Gartner Magic Quadrant for hyperconverged infrastructure. Their first hyperconvergence product in 2011 came with the message of ban the SAN. Now they are able to deliver everything you need for cloud architecture in a single package with the Nutanix Enterprise Cloud. The cloud service is built on leading HCI tech and combines networking, virtualization and computing in the same full stack solution. We are now on to our top 3 impressive companies using hyperconvergence. At number 3 we have HPE Simplivity. The Simplivity brand focuses on the desire to bring hyperconvergence to the masses, meaning they want to make hyperconverged infrastructure available to anyone with speedy performance, resiliency and efficiency. They originally entered the market for HCI in 2012 with the OmniQ product. The OmniQ builds on the OmniStack platform for data virtualization. Today, Simplivity continues to offer hyperconverged solutions as a leader in the Gartner Magic Quadrant. At number 2, we've got Hypergrid, one of the top dogs of hyperconverged infrastructure. Their goal is to offer hyperconvergence as a service solution to businesses that need simple access to HCI. The CEO, Nariman Temorian, said that businesses who were developing more solutions delivered over infrastructure as a service for simplicity and flexibility. Temorian claims that Hypergrid's technology can claim everything you need for enterprise-grade platforms. What's more, you get all that tech with a pay-as-you-go pricing structure. And the number one company that we think is using hyperconvergence most effectively is Cisco. When Cisco first entered the hyperconvergence market in 2016, their initial product was Hyperflex, which launched on their UCS platform. Hyperflex's goal was to enhance the first-gen hyperconvergence strategy to deliver an experience that's number one in enterprise performance. Not only that, but it also extends the abilities of hyperconvergence platforms from core to multi-cloud and edge computing. 
Along with Cisco Intersight, Cisco users can now deploy hyper-converged infrastructure at the edge of their technology stack at a global scale. That's all for now. My name is Max Curtin. For the best articles, the best podcasts, the best white papers, the best interviews, the best features, and for more amazing top 10s like this, visit em360tech.com or subscribe to our YouTube channel.